Canva new Zetter design tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create newsletter designs for your conversions and to engage your audience using Canva. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to canva.com and you will get right here. Canva is a designing tool that allows you to create websites. You can create presentation, edit your videos, photos, and also create newsletter designs. With Canva, we will be able to create high conversion designs where we will be able to add videos, images, and uh, buttons as well. So let's actually get into it. First of all, once you get to Canva, you will get this search bar right here and you can search for newsletter. So here we have our newsletter. You can see we have a email newsletter or a simple newsletter that we can go for. Uh, then we have Christmas newsletters or classroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just search for newsletter and check the results that we will get. On Canva, we actually get a lot of different templates to choose from. You will get around about, you can see right here, we have 3000 plus templates for newsletter. And you can see how good newsletters are. You can see this one right here, this one, all of these newsletters that I can go for. So it depends on you now, what kind of newsletter you want to create, what is your niche. Uh, so you will select that one. In my case, I am creating a simple newsletter um, and I am actually going to go for this template right here. So I will select this one. There are free templates and paid templates as well. Uh, so you can go for the free ones as well. There's no problem with that. And you will be able to create a professional newsletter. You can see with each template, we get some similar templates as well. So if you're not happy with that one, maybe you can choose another one. Now I'm going to click on customize this template. So here we have our template ready. Uh, first of all, let's change the name. So I'm just going to call it test newsletter for now, like so. Uh, and now we can work on it. So first of all, let me actually show you, we can also start a newsletter from the scratch. So if you feel like you don't want to go for a template, you can start from the scratch too. There's no problem. We have different elements available here where you will get photos, images, graphics, frames, um, stickers, and then we have audio and anything you want to add. Actually, we have charts, tables, grids. Uh, so you can go for any of these different elements from here to add to your canvas. Then we have upload. This is where you will upload your images and your footage to add to your newsletter. Then we have text. Text is an important part of a newsletter. So what happens is we can add heading, body text and subheadings. And then we will be able to choose from a lot of different templates. Then we have projects and apps too. So I'm going to actually get back to my template here. And we can customize it completely. Um, uh, first of all, we have our, you know, date here. So I'm going to change the date, of course, and add today's date here like this. Then we have a website here. So we can change the website. I don't want to add a website. Then I can completely delete this option from here. So I will add a website like this. I have zoomed in a little bit. You can see we can zoom in and zoom out on Canva. So after that, we have this text here. So I will just click here and change the text and we can also change the font. For instance, I'm not happy with this font right here. What I will do is I will click on fonts here and we can just change the font. We have a lot of different fonts to choose from. So I'll select the font here. Then we have this color. Let's actually change the color because I want to completely customize the newsletter. I don't want to go for a template. It might be, uh, you know, similar to something uh, someone else uh, else's template. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all the different elements here and it will show me the colors. So the color scheme is yellow, black and white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the black that we have on our, you know, here on our newsletter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select the color, for instance, the yellow first. So I'm going to change the yellow to a blue and in blue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little lighter blue like so. Similarly, we had um, black too. So there was a little black uh, here, for instance. So I'm going to change the black to this color right here. So let's do that. And then we had here, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this element and change the color like this. So you can see this is what it looks like now. And then we have this background image. So I'm going to change the image to 
So we're gonna go to upload and upload an image from our computer. So I have added this image in the background and we can also adjust the image size uh, according to us. Similarly, we have this small image here that we can change and I can actually go to the elements here and in elements, I will be getting free footage. So I can actually search for any kind of image or graphic for free. Uh, if you wanna use it in your newsletter, you can actually do that really easily. So you can actually search an image from here. To add, you can actually just place it here and it will be added. So you can see this is what it looks like now. Uh, we have our text here. So the text, uh, if I want to change it, of course, I will just select it and I will just delete this text and write my text here. Similarly, we have like this small dots in yellow. So I'm going to actually change them to a darker blue like so. So you can see this is what it looks like now and we have this newsletter uh you know we use this template and created a newsletter in minutes this is how you can also create a professional newsletter of your own um this is like the very uh you know basic template that i use you can also create a template of your own so how you do it is you can actually go to the elements here and in elements we have these shapes we have these lines and shapes that i can add to a newsletter and then i can embed different images into it i will also be able to add text any kind of text and in any kind of um you know font we can use it we can add text right here above and we can add our uh, you know website we will be able to add the date and of course add uh, our news that we want to go for so you can add image maybe this time i can go for another kind of design another kind of newsletter uh, for instance we have something like this it has a lot of different images and we have this uh, other, uh, you know, theme here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one. You can see this is a weekly newsletter. Again, uh, we have this, you know, element here, which is a flower element that I can change the color for. Uh, or I can use these templates for inspiration to create something from the scratch. That also works. So here in this template, what I can do is maybe I can show you how to change like the fonts and everything. And name to um, my newsletter, let's say, is called like... Forbes. so what i can do is i can go to the fonts here and i will select any other font from here for instance this one we have this or i can go with this one so you can see this is what it looks like and again we have these images i can of course delete or uh, move all of these different images from one place to another i can decrease and increase the size um, and i can maybe add a text here instead of the image so i can just place it here like this and i wanted to add text here so what i will do is i will go to the elements here and select this one place here like this move this element a little bit and we can also make it a little transparent so i'm going to select it click on these three dots click on transparency and make it a little transparent and then i'm going to go to text section add a body text and place it here like this i can add a text so you can see this is what it looks like uh, to change a, uh, you know, the whole uh, template of a newsletter. Similarly, I can change the whole theme as well. If I want to change the background color to something, I can do that. I, if I select this color and you can see this is what it will look like. And I can make it more lighter. We can go for any color from here and select it. So this is how it works uh, on Canva. We will be able to create high quality professional newsletters like this and use them. Uh, you can now save this newsletter. Click on share and then click on download. You can download it as a PDF, PNG, JPG, or you can also get the link for the newsletter to add to a website online, or you can print it uh, to uh, send or to use it. So this is how you will create a newsletter design on Canva. I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification, and subscribe to YouTube channel.